Hey, Busy Bees. Today, we are back with another book. And the title of our book is Ballooning, Henry P. by John and Lane Smith. So let's pop open the book and fly through this adventure together. Balloony. So here is our title page. Balloony, Henry P. Last Tuesday morning at 8.37 a.m., Henry P. Balloony was finally late for class once too often. That's it, said Miss Bug Scuffle. Permanent lifelong detention, unless you have one very good and very believable excuse. Well, I would have been exactly on time, said Henry, but... I misplaced my trusty Zimulus. Then I, um, found it on my deskie. But someone had put my deskie in a Toraku. The Korotu drove me right here to Siskola. But then it drove me right past. I grabbed my Zimulus and jumped out. But I jumped smack in the middle of a Razoo launch pad. I used my Zimulus to pop open the escape portal, but it turned out to be a portal into the next Razoo blasting off. Oh my goodness. I jammed the Razoo controls with my Zimulus so I could land behind Zuscola and still be on time. But land behind Zeus Gola and still be on time. But I jammed the wrong Batuna and ended up on the planet Astrosus. I entertained the Astro guys with my very funny Picasus, but they decided my Picasus and I would be entertaining to eat. Oh, no. I changed their minds with geodrums and calculations. So fantastic, they crowned me Kinegus of the whole planet. But I forgot the ostracist word for thank you and accidentally used the word for doof brain. <sighs> I foiled their plan to disintegrate me by plugging their blasa with my Zimulus, but they made a new plan to send me back in a sign flosser to fracas our Ziscola. I erased the sign flosser fracas instructions, but I also erased the sign flosser portal lock and fell out. I dropped like a Uarak. I was only three seconds away from Zerplanzen all over the Spielplatz. Not even my trusty Zimulus could save me. So what did you do? Said Miss Bug Scuffle. How could you possibly save yourself? I suddenly remembered that falling bodies obey the law of gravity. And I haven't learned the law of gravity yet. So I stopped and came to Ziscola. All of which made me exactly seven minutes late this a moon. Henry P. Ballooning, said Miss Bug Scuffle. That is unbelievable. But today's assignment is to compose a tall tale. So why don't you sit down and get started writing? I'd love to, said Henry. But I seem to have misplaced my Zimulus. Oh, my goodness. Afterward, this transmission was received directly from deep space. Once the signals were decoded, it became clear that this was a story about a life form similar to many earthlings. Even more amazing was the discovery that the story is written in a combination of many different earth languages, including Lativian, Swahili, Finnish, Esperanto, and Inuit Dictate. Who knows why? 
and it gives us all the different words they used. And I did my very best, I, I promise, to pronounce them. And that is the end of our book for today. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you like to follow along for more adventures, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you on the next one.